there everybody and welcome back to Cursed Pan Soup. Now just for those of you who don't know, I actually did a speedrun of this game's demo before and now the game is finally fully released and I'm ready to do a speedrun of it. I've already played through it one time and I've also already found two skips and I'm excited to show this to y'all. Let's get going. Alright guys. Now, I'm doing after recording commentary because I needed more concentration with this game than I thought. <laughs> now, the plot of this game is basically this girl steals a pair of panties from the mall. She starts getting nightmares about the mall, and now you have to find a way to escape it. Uh, you know, at the start of this run, one of the first things I have to do is to, um, level grind. Uh, like, level up three times because... Uh, there's a special kick technique I need to, uh, like, unlock to do a majority of the skips in this game. And that other girl that you saw... Well, first off, our, our character's name is Kaori, and the uh, other girl is named Akari. Akari is basically your companion of this game, and, um, she's also your checkpoints, and she can heal you as well. Like, this is one of the weirdest games I've, like, ever played, but it's also one of the funnest, and there's some pretty cool skips that I found in this game as well. Like, there's, like, a, like quite a few skips, some major and mostly minor also. And some content I do need to warn you about is, like, is mostly panty shots, and also your clothes... Your character's clothes can get damaged and ripped apart uh, after you take a certain amount of damage. Uh, you'll see part of her butt, but it's not too much to where it's a big deal. Or at least I don't think it'd be. And when you're defeated, yeah, your clothes and panties are ripped off entirely. But the game has censoring, so don't worry about that. And I always try to turn the camera away anyways from those. I apologize if my commentary is not going to be the greatest during this. <laughs> like, the most difficult thing I'd say about this speedrun is probably the movement. And also, like, your jumping. I'm wondering uh, if I should actually try to do more skip hunting. Maybe if this speedrun does well. If this speedrun gets up to 10 likes, I'll definitely do another speedrun and get, like, a better improvement. Uh, you know, there's presents all around in the game that, um, has, that either contains an item or, uh, is an explosive trap. Uh, I was thinking of trying to do an all present speedrun once, but only if this speedrun gets up to at least, uh... Let's say at least 500 views. 500, no, no, about a thousand. If this gets a thousand views, then I'll try to do an all present speedrun. But I'm not going to be making any promises. <laughs> oh, and you guys, like, saw one of the first minor skips in this game already? Um. I believe it was like on the previous floor, is it? Or am I thinking of this floor? Oh no, never mind. The first binder skip is up to here. Like, I get on top of this railing and use the jump technique across. Uh, that saves me about four seconds so I don't have to destroy those boxes in the way. Yeah, level 3 is the recommended level to, like, level up to and then, like, upgrade your kicks to get this, um, uh, swirling kick technique. Spinning kick technique or whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't talk. Yeah, that, like I said before, that kick technique is very major to the speedrun. You know, the most difficult area in this game, uh, it... The longest it took me to get out of there was like seven minutes because of the ridiculous physics with the game. You know, one cool thing that definitely helped me get through this game is, uh, you can use that, um, jump kick technique while falling from a height to, um, keep yourself from dying. It's kind of random with it working, 
Sometimes it'll kill me. Sometimes it'll just do severe damage. It's not really that difficult to do anyways. <laughs> but it can definitely kill off your run. I hope uh, YouTube's system doesn't, you know, age restrict this video. Yeah, I know I told you guys the kind of content that is in this game. But like I said, it's got like censoring in. There's nothing serious. I think it's no different than like most of the JRPGs you see. Like how to mention Neptunia. And those, uh, most of the time, those don't ever really get age restricted. That's another minor skip that I discovered. If, uh, yeah, I, avoid, I can, uh, like, avoid going around the area to get over here to do that. <laughs> I love that you can, like, destroy a lot of things in this build, in these buildings. Like in these little stores, I mean. I definitely recommend that you guys check this game out yourself. It's pretty cheap, pretty fun. Uh, Orc Grim, uh, yeah, that's the name of the developer, and he did a very good job. If you'd like to try out the game yourself, I'll leave a link to the, uh, to the Steam page in the description down below. The physics on these elevators can be pretty weird sometimes. Like, sometimes when I try jumping off one of them, uh, the game would just, like, force me downward. Especially when I, like, was about to jump after walking towards the edge. Forgive me if I don't do the greatest with my commentary. I just don't know what kind of stuff to say at the moment. It took me quite a while to beat this game on my first try. Uh, not too terribly long. It took about maybe six hours, six, seven hours, which might not sound like quite a while. I don't know. The final area is the area I really got stuck at. I always like say, like talk to this girl to be on the safe side. I'm kind of surprised I did not get damaged there. Especially there. I know I can definitely save some time in some of these areas. <laughs> the There's like three bosses in this, uh, in this game. Uh, the secretary, um, an actress, and uh, a uh, maid. The strategy for these bosses is to basically just keep punching them. You'll see me, like, killing some of the enemies during these boss fights, uh, to gain more experience so I can get more, uh, increase in my strength. These bosses are actually very fast to defeat. They're very easy to defeat. <laughs> I'll be honest, though, my first time going against them, I sucked. Especially against the actress. To be honest, I did not know I could uh, use skill points um, to build up my strength. I thought that was something the game did automatically, but I guess not. <laughs> the funny thing is that you have to fight these bosses to steal their panties because of the evil uh, boss man of the building. He's pervert. <laughs> Actually, they're technically a she. It, it was revealed that it was a female later on. Sorry for the spoilers. And by the way, this is where the first major skip of the game occurs. Like, you have to, like, go around an area, the area, like, multiple areas, and, uh, like, activate a switch to make some flames go away so you can get around there. But, yep, doing that jump technique right there allows me to skip doing that entirely. And I can also jump over here to this elevator. Wait, and, like, doing this saves multiple minutes. I'm so glad I was able to get that fast. <laughs> and this area is the area that I had the most trouble on. Yeah, it took me about seven minutes to get through this area. Uh, if you guys don't want to watch all those fails and mess-ups, 
then skip to the timestamp you see right on screen. I got up there pretty fast. It was like afterwards. There's like two objectives, or one main objective you have to do in this area. And after getting to the top, you have to take uh, some waifu anime shirt that you see torn. And then you have to go back down a few floors to find a sewing machine to fix the shirt. And then you have to place it back. It's trying to get back up after that's so annoying because of the... I guess the RNG or the rhythm of the... Or pattern <laughs> of the elevators. It feels like going up the first time as soon as you start is like the easier part of this area. I had trouble with the um, like fall and kick strat when I was like going downward a couple times. By the way, there are two machines. There are two machines in this game that heals you and also repairs your clothing. You saw the blue on the top left, light on the top left, before I fell, fell down there, right? Yeah, those things are the ones that gives me health and also repairs my clothing. But I didn't bother with it. Didn't feel like I had to. And I'm surprised that, you know, I got very lucky that I did not die from that. Unfortunately, the luck, lack, <laughs> the luck did not stay with me. And now we climb back up, and unfortunately, I'm going to get killed a couple times. Forgive me for not talking, I just don't know what to say. My commentary is horrible, I know. The music! I really love the music in this game. It's like a very good soundtrack and like I think my most favorite track in the game is where you fight is when you fight the actress or at least when you're in her um, little little uh, stage area. <laughs> yeah, I died there because I got crushed by the um, uh, elevator. And you can keep hearing the sound effects of my character falling. <laughs> There's some, I'm sure you noticed there are some cute, like, anime girl pictures here and there on the walls. I am surprised I got that. And that fall was quite scary. I took a lot of damage there. Whoa! You start off with one of these sodas to heal you. I still kept this run even though I died a few times in here in the elevator area, but that was just because I was getting frustrated trying to get a run completed. I really wanted to get a run done. I'll do another normal run of this game if this video gets um, at least, let's say uh, at least a couple hundred views. If it, if it gets um, at least 1,000 views or 50 likes, then I'll do the uh, all-present speedrun. I think I said something about that already earlier on. Forgive me if I changed it up. <laughs> that was stupid because I swear I pushed the freaking kick button. <laughs> That was scary. <laughs> what a stupid death. And I'm getting crushed. Alrighty. I think it was this attempt that I managed to uh, get through here. Man, it was a good thing that I actually paused and did that because I was scared I was going to get killed. 
you know, I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of the skips in this game. I'm probably going to mess around some more in this game to find more skips. If you guys want me to find more skips in the game, let me know. With perfect optimization with what I have found so far, uh, the fastest time is probably maybe 26 or 27. Maybe faster, actually. But this game is a perfect length, in my opinion. If a speedrun... If, if it takes... Speedruns that usually take, on average, about 30 minutes, I'd say is a perfect length for a, for a speed game. For safety, before I climbed up the rest of the way, I went to this girl. I forgot that she was there before. Oh yeah, that's right. I think I die one more time, guys. I was just standing there because I was trying to remember which elevator it was that I had to go on. Oh uh, yeah, no, I don't die anymore. Okay. I'll probably just... I'll probably, um... Next time, do a speedrun with me on camera. But you're got, you guys are most likely not going to see me do much commentary. Because like I said, this, this game requires some good concentration. I'm glad to be out of this area. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, I died at least one time in this area. And I had some trouble trying to hit the enemies in a couple of places. <laughs> these, um, I feel like these stupid, um, carts are, uh, trolls. I mean, I wanted to keep on fighting the enemies to gain the experience uh, I need to defeat the enemies quicker. These presents are dangerous. They're booby-trapped. <laughs> There's a, like, enemy up here that I had trouble hitting that I just could not hit. I couldn't get her. <laughs> that was such a funny moment. <laughs> the mannequin uh, clipped into the wall after I killed him. Up, oh, and that mannequin just partially jumped into the wall. That noise you're hearing is because I was trying to attack when my stamina bar was low. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't die in here. I was thinking of another, uh, like, attempt. I lost some time here because... Yeah, I was trying to jump over this fence so I didn't have to go around it. It is possible. I did it once before, but I don't know why it wasn't letting me this time. And I felt like I was getting myself lost in this area. I wasn't going straight to where I had to go a few times, but that was just because I just... I didn't completely memorize everything yet at the time of this run. I didn't memorize almost everything, but some things I didn't memorize. <sighs> hey, excuse me guys, I'm tired. <laughs> I've been at work a lot at Duncan lately. You guys might not see... By the way, you guys might not see another upload for a few days. That just depends. <laughs> I got so mad! <laughs> it depends on, um... Like, if I can think of anything else to speedrun. I might do another speedrun of Star Fox 64. Actually, if you guys want to see me do another... Blindfolded speedrun of Star Fox 64 of one of the levels. 
then, uh, um, like, help me get that video to 150 views, and I'll do the solar level. Okay, there's a minor skip that I did in here. Uh, I was gonna try and kill the alligator creature to get more experience, but I was just getting hit badly there, so I did not want to risk it. And the game would not let me jump upward. Doing that allows me to avoid having to destroy the boxes, which is pretty risky. Ooh, this is good music. <laughs> I like that girl's outfit. I love the blue and the green in it. And her hair is beautiful as well. You know, I was pretty surprised on how fast I actually defeated her. You know, I wonder... Uh, I wonder what consists of 100%. I'll probably ask Orc Grim about that. I can definitely defeat these enemies much faster. By the way, my next speedrun, you might actually see me defeat some other enemies, like, sooner at the start. Although, it may make me lose some time. It could take quite a bit of time. <sighs> it's gonna mess up my split, my first split entirely, so I might just, uh, delete the time off the first split. These stairs are a bit wonky. Like, you have to jump at, like, the tip of the stairs to, um, be able to get the jump in and actually, like, jump to the next park. Or else the game is just gonna make you get caught on the stairs and make you fall, like, down. These alligator creatures, whatever, or whatever they are, do a lot of freaking damage. But you can get a lot of experience from them, that's for sure. Destroy that to be on the safe side. When you when you're first starting out with this game, guys, one of the, you definitely have to be more cautious. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. Uh, like, I really wish I could have done all that in the demo. Uh, and that is, uh, just in case, if you guys have watched my demo, uh, speedrun of this game, uh, in the demo y'all saw me, like, jump and kick and then clip through the walls. I cannot do that here in, uh, the full version, the full release, because Grim, uh, Orca Grim, um, patched it. Which, it's no big deal. I felt like that would have skipped way too much of the game anyways. So I'm kind of glad it's not in the game, in the full game. It'd be very interesting to see it, someone else speedrun this game. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, maybe I should uh, skip, the, uh, talking to Akari. And, yeah, I lost a few seconds going back, but I felt like I had to. I probably would have been in big danger if I did not do that. I I actually managed to get through the rest of the level without dying. But because of how wonky the steps are, I went on ahead and, and took the checkpoint at Akari. I wonder how strong she'd be. Uh, our character would be... Um, if, uh, dang it, <laughs> if, uh, the strength was at max. Eh, 
the, 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 like, the evil boss, uh, boss person, like, forced, uh, Akari and Kairi to kiss each other. And now, this is where the next major skip is gonna be, guys. Like, you have to, um, like, go through quite a few areas in this, uh, part of the game as well. Uh, just like back where you saw me do the gate skip. Um... Yeah, it's basically a gate you have to open up. And, um... But on here... Well, you have to turn on the power to actually get some, uh... Little platforms moving for you to progress. But, yeah, I used the jump technique to, um, skip that. Skip how to do that. Those flame traps do a lot of damage. I got a little bit lost here in this little area. Because I kind of couldn't remember if I had to go left or right. And since I was already over here, I went on ahead and just got that, uh, item. And it increased my stamina, so... <laughs> as soon as I saw a car, I knew I was heading in the right direction. No electricity. I was waiting for this to come back up, because I would just didn't want to take the risk of trying to jump that gap. I most likely could have done the, uh, the jump technique over that gap, but I just did not want to risk it since I did not test that out before this run, you know? I almost died here one time. Yep, I fell there. <laughs> and I'm really shocked that I did not take any damage. There are two minikins waiting for me up at the stop of this ladder. I'm actually surprised they did not make me fall down, to be honest. Yeah, I jump on top of that railing in this next one, and I do the jump technique to the right. You know, I really hope I do impress the developer with these skips. This is the um, semi-final area of the game. This is the area that it took me so long to complete because... Like, I, I had to find a key to get into the uh, like last boss area. But the, the advice, I mean the hint, the tip that we were given to find the key, it just was, I don't think it was like very informative or didn't, was it very helpful. The tip was, um, I take a trip to Italy. And there are some, and because of the restaurant parts in this cat, these cafeteria areas, um, I just thought... If I saw a picture of pizza above the counters, maybe that's where I have to look. But nope, it wasn't like that. It was something different. The funny thing is, uh, it was back in the first area, first part of this area, where you found the key and it was inside a piece of pizza. I don't know, but it was just funny. That was just funny. <laughs> I'm stupid for just walking right into that. Yahoo! I don't use that roll often because it takes up too much stamina. Uh, the game trolled me. The game was teasing me with that stupid elevator. As soon as I got close to it, it went back up. Stupid game, you teasing me? <laughs> <laughs> I 
So yeah, I basically have to go back all the way to the beginning of this area. I really thought I was gonna die a couple times. Uh, I actually did die at the start. I'm sorry, at the end of the area one time. Luckily though, I had a checkpoint. Why would you hide a key inside of giant slice of pizza? Don't you think that's, don't you guys think that's a little bit weird? I'm so glad I found that exploit. Um, shout outs, another shout out to the developer. They, they informed me that, um, if it's not a game breaking bug, uh, he's not gonna patch any, uh, skips or exploits. I am very grateful, uh, Orc. I appreciate you for that. Yeah! -ha! I just really wanted to get the girl, uh, mannequins defeated. Because they can run after you. Uh, the men guys can't. The same with the, uh, the girl mannequin that spits out what looks like to be some kind of acid. Yeah, sub 30 minutes with, um, sub 30 minutes right now already is definitely possible. I could most likely get sub 30 minutes my next run if I don't, <laughs> if I don't play like crap in the, uh, in the, um, uh, elevator area. Yeah, this part right here, I should have mentioned this earlier. This spot here is like a minor-ish skip as well, I guess you say, I can say. Just avoiding how to destroy the boxes. I did not do the jump technique at the right time over here. <laughs> that was funny how, how I got the mannequin there. Oh wait, no, never mind. I did, but I just got crushed by the elevator. How much did I forget? Well, I recorded this speedrun, guys, by the way. Um... At the time of this upload, last night, and yeah, it was today, the same day I uploaded this, that I did the voice recording. I just could not do this, uh, record this game while doing commentary. I will do face cam next time, guys, but you're most likely not going to hear me do commentary. I'll definitely do a normal intro, but yeah, I'll just say that, uh, I'll be quiet most of the time, but you'll still see facial reactions, I guess. This is the final boss of the game, and the strategy for this is basically, uh, we, you, you guys saw that little music box, the blue music box on screen to the right, after I turned her around? Yeah, there's a corner on the other side here. It's easier to come over here to fight the maid because, uh, there are mannequins out, ma uh, male mannequins out there that throws items at you. And because of how slow they are, you won't have to worry about them coming to you and throwing them at you. Okay, and I end my time after the game gets back to the main menu. But I have, I accidentally added an extra split here, so... Uh, yeah, it, but it's a 3304. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this speedrun. Thank you so much for watching this run, everybody. I can't talk. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, speedrun hitting that like button as fast as possible. If you want to see more speedrun-related content, glitch the subscriber button turn get gray. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye, everybody.